All right, you gotta zoom in too. Okay, that's the one thing. <laughs> not zoom in. Do not okay. zoom in. Not zoom in. <laughs> Go in. Intro's different. Intro. Oh, no. Intro's different. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hold on. Intro's different. Intro size and count. Hey, guys. It's there. Not that, that. That's it. That's the only time. <laughs> there. There, but not now. You gotta go. You have to zoom out for the effect, okay? Okay, ready? Mm hmm This, like, sucks. You know what? Yellow. Dude, oh come my on. God. All right, guys. In today's video, we're gonna take a tour of Morgan's... Reptile room! <laughs> we have to redo this. All right, guys. In today's video, we're gonna take a tour of Morgan's reptile room. All right, if everyone just wants to introduce themselves. Hello, I'm Alana. I was in a previous video. I'm back again for the weekend. I'm Morgan, also in a previous video. Y'all should know who I am. We're all Alex regulars. Animal Kingdom. You already know. How different though? You've been in the video. Introduce yourself, Ethan. Oh, well. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, <laughs> Ethan. Oh, God, this is just more. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, you're just doing the weird thing like that. Yo, what's up? All right, first up. Oh. My go beautiful blue iguana Merlin. Should we take him out? Yeah, go ahead. Yes, take him out. Go ahead. Is he okay? Is he gonna? He's, he's, he's just gonna shed right now. Oh yeah. So he's a boy, right? Yes, he's a boy. For sure. Oh, handsome uh, boy. So wait, is blue is blue a line of green or is blue the, its own morph of color? Blue is a part of the green. It's part of the green. Yeah, go on. So there's reds, blues, greens. You get the saw. You can get a little closer too if mm -hmm. you want to. Look at him. Wow. Uh, how long have you had this? I've had him since November. Mm -hmm. He's about, what, three years old, you said? Estimated? Two and a half, three? All right, who gave me a fact about a green iguana? So they'll drop their tails as a defense, just like oh. a leopard gecko or something like that. Um, other things they'll do, they'll whip their tail real hard at you, how and they'll also paws? bite. Mm -hmm. Pretty scratchy. You're right. Oh, yeah. It's they got to cut his neck, but they're not that bad. They're invasive to Florida. They are. There you go. Invasive to Florida. Bananas, yes or no? Very occasionally. Very Not often. Alright, let's move on to the next animal. Are you leaning on me? Are you like over, over me? <laughs> I feel like you're just suffering over me, man. <laughs> but we're supposed to go. We don't got a lot of room, bro. Like... <laughs> so, okay, so not everything in the room is mine. Some of it is my roommate's. Um, my own animals, I have 22 inverts and 12 reptiles. Ooh. Slash amphibians. Gotcha. So. That's a lot. Yeah, Soon to see the tarantulas. <laughs> no, that is awesome. Alright, so in here there are six white street frogs. There are three boys and three girls. Um, they croak very often. Um, yeah, they don't, um, yeah. yeah, they just did a couple Is there croaking for males versus females? Uh, females will, will croak occasionally, but it's more when they're like annoyed at the male. Um, they don't really do it as often as And you did this whole enclosure yourself, right? <laughs> yeah. So, Who, who's the best at uh, building enclosures here? Morgan. It's Morgan. Uh, hands yeah. freaking guys. Yeah. Yeah. I would pay her to How are you, Ethan? Enclosures. Are Ethan, are you good at building enclosures? I'm like at 60% of Morgan. You're 60%? Oh, you guys. So kind. Oh, look who we made! Maisie! 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 That pixie frog in it, bro. And this right here, and that right there. What is what is this and that? A ball python and a crusty. Oh, You're welcome. There we go. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So this is Nemo. He is my two-legged crested gecko. Is this a sibling of mine? Yes, actually. Yeah. Um, and the sibling of me. Oh, it's two-legged. Two. Yeah. Three legged or two? two? No, nope, oh. he has two legs. He's like me. <laughs> He's about a year old. Um, he hatched out like this, so I, you know, yeah. I wasn't gonna like wow, he's get rid of the egg or anything like that, or get rid so of. Wait, what, like, what colors is this? He's know? a harlequin. He's a harlequin. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm off testing you. <laughs> <laughs> testing her on her own animals. Yeah. But he hatched okay. out like this. He eats. He gets around. He's learned how to so, jump. Yeah. So I remember when he had. What do you think he's doing? Pangea. Pangea, yeah, and the Rapashi diet, okay. and then the Lugardi stuff too. Oh, he looks really nice. Wow. Though. Do you guys have anybody else have crusty geckos? On guard. You have two? Three. Three. Do you have how many? I have a guard. I don't have crusty. Got two. How about you? I got one. Me too! Yeah, we're not. We're not okay. We'll sorry. do a cool video later. Just kidding. I'm sorry. We're 600 now. Oh, oh so the two legs on this side? Yes. So you guys have a hard time? I thought it would be one on one, so I want to. He gets around. Yeah. Does he need a crutch? Is this the bionic crusty right now? We name him. 
I think it's funner that we did a video. Yeah. Oh, whoa. What is that? Okay, hey, record this. Yeah. This is a camera. I have the saving uh, of this one. Wait, this is the boa. Yes, this is I my this. Motley Central American boa that I got from an old coworker from ours. So her name's Juniper. Um, she's a little over a year old. She eats frozen who, so wait, thawed pup rats. Who produced this? Um, a coworker? Yes, Jason Farrow. Is and then name. you have a sibling? I have a sibling in that one, yeah. Got you. Wow. We got the sisters. The Who's colors on this thing are insane. I know. She's pretty. She's and they grow up to be really shimmer. pretty too. She just shed last night too. Oh, oh. she has a nice full shed. There we go. And then, so do you know a little bit about what was? Yes. Okay, tell me, me a fun fact about BCI, it's BCI, right? Mm -hmm. okay. So this is actually, so they were called BCIs. Now they are called CIs. So they actually took the C out so they're not, they're not trying no. to constrict anymore. Just, just imperator. Yes. Mm. Oh, imperator. Oh, imperator. So, they, they don't constrict anymore. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. Did they figure out they were actually rear fang venomous, and that's why they took out the constrictor? <laughs> My fun fact for boas is they are actually one of the only snakes that give a live birth. You don't have to use an incubator when doing babies for these. Yeah, Why are you true. laughing? It's because Alex's arm was covering yeah, Benny's face. You gotta be still leaning like, on me, man. Like the whole time your arm was covering his like, face I'm and Benny was like you trying to peek like through the side. Oh my god. Oh. Hello, this is <laughs> Kyle, the giant day gecko. A fun fact about Kyle is we actually hatched him from a little itty bitty egg by two day geckos that were in love. Really? And they have to shop? They actually, yeah, they actually got married. It's sad, but whatever. This is the offspring. Um, he was so cute when he was super little. He would actually eat gecko diet from your hand because we were so obsessed with him, and we would play with him so much now not so much um he's classic day gecko doesn't want to rock with us he no. will get a good chunk bigger though um so um has 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 there been a lot of people producing these though i don't know myself i feel like a good amount of people they're yeah. easier they're very really good they're, they're kind of easy to produce they're like the yeah. room temp incubation type like reptile oh, like yeah Diego's? yeah so wow. they're pretty easy this to is the largest locale or Giants? Yeah, he's um, a I'm giant sure. Madagascar mm -hmm. Madagascar gotcha. giant. Yeah. So this is the Geico Gecko, basically. Yeah, the yes. Geico Gecko. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Any other fun facts? Hmm. You said a bunch. You said oh, a lot. Oh, I do have a fun fact. When they're scared, they can actually shed their skin. They can take this eject yeah. their skin and it's horrifying to look at well, well, what do you mean like once you like you, 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 it's like a mechanism yeah? um, they can they drop their tails but they also can drop their um scales oh wow we'll oh, insert oh, some good. pictures of kyle here as when he was a baby because we have so many cute pictures of him so okay yeah. and fun fact morgan um oh gosh Okay, we have that. Yeah. Anybody else have anybody, you know anything about this? You know anything? When, when they uh, get all their skin off, it's called degloving, and they look oh. like a raw chicken nugget with no bread. Or Mr. Krabs after he moves. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, Mr. Krabs after he moves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or some raw chicken. Yep. You got some from Madagascar? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, we're here with Maisie. Hello. And then what do we have here, Maisie? This is a Mexican black king snake. He's almost two years old, I think. So I've had him since he was just a little baby. Oh, what? And he came in, and they used to be like two hundred dollars, but I bought him for like I think like four something. Got you when they're a little bit when they try to find the price of them. Reptile inflation. Yeah, no, what's, his any... name, what's his name, Maisie? What's his name? Oh, his yep. name's Toothless. Oh, he's so clever. Does anybody know any fun facts about them? They're known as the poor man's indigo snake. That's, that's, yeah. that's really yeah. I think they're then. like the nicer of the king snakes too. Or they're supposed to be yeah. like more like calm. Yeah, they're one of my favorite out of all of them. I like them. He has a little like white. You know, now like, I see it. They have a little white. But yeah, I was telling you like there's not many that are they're this black. No, yeah, he was cool. So the other one that came in had white, white speckles, speckles all speckles down. Here. Yeah, all down him. But I wanted one that was solid black because... Yeah. What do you feed? Him? <laughs> <laughs> um, he's currently eating like smaller hopper mice. Mm. Live or frozen? Um, frozen because lovely. I don't think he would 
I don't think he would do very good with live because he kind of just grabs it and starts eating it right away. Mm. He doesn't really wrap it anymore. <laughs> he used to when he was smaller, but it was All really right. cute. All right, thank you for sharing that with You're us. You're so much. Thank All right, Alex, what do we have here? So right here we have an African bullfrog, also known as a pixie frog. So, so a good fact about these guys, these guys are actually the second largest frog on the planet. Second, what's first? I believe it is the... Come on. Goliath. Yes. Goliath right. bullfrog. So these guys can actually, males can actually get up to 10 cell inches. So as you can see, this guy... Like dinner plate, right? Yeah, about the size of the dinner plate. Females will get a little bit smaller. You can tell the difference between males and females. Nope. The really big difference is the color. So females on their underbelly, I can't really show right now too much because he's, all, he's covered in the equal earth, but on his underbelly, they'll mostly have an orange to yellow to red color. So sometimes they develop that red color a little bit later on in life. Another good thing too is that they have these pads on the back of their, on their back legs where they actually clamp on the actual female to actually produce. So and the thing is that they are just absolutely this is your um, favorite, right? This, this, is, you, this is my favorite. You have what? Name a, a, just a quick list of what you have at home. I have a Burmese python, a couple of snakes, uh, three pixie frogs, a black throat miner, um, another Pacific rattlesnake, a bunch of inverts. Um, I have 1.1 uh, 1 .1 of sun glows, 1.1 .1 of pastel head sterlings. Okay, you, your list is never ending up. Huh? It probably doesn't, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's but it. But I'm just, basically, yeah, I always just trying to say that you're the reptiles. <laughs> well, I mean, you wanted to know. Yeah. Like, you don't you know, know, you know, you know, 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 love pixie yeah. frogs. Yeah, yeah, I love pixie frogs, so. <laughs> I think that list is going to go on that long, though. So, Morgan was saying earlier that she, was that you the frog <laughs> <laughs> was it you about the croak? I was talking about the whites. But I have heard um, Huel, my pixie you, croak. Uh, mine hasn't croaked yet. No, so that's how you listen for, that's how you identify a male versus female, right? Yes, that's another way. So males will croak at a certain size and females will croak. So who all has a pixie frog here? That's This is hers, this that's is Maisie's. And Morgan has a uh, have the other pixie, one. that was the other one. The very first one. And you have five? I have, <laughs> and I have three. I have one confirmed female and I have two babies. So I'm hoping And your dad has how many? Three, two. Yeah. So they, they have, they own all the pixie frogs in, the, in, in our area. <laughs> <laughs> and I only own down. one. And you're, are you ever going to own one? No. Are you, are you, I do you like frogs? I have whites. You have whites. And I'll have darts, but I don't want gotcha. the pixie. Okay. I'm good off the big, the big guys. All right, so these are where I keep most of my inverts. Um, I've got some new world, some old world, mostly new world species though. Um, the difference between new world and old world tarantula species, um, new world tarantulas are from the Americas, um, North America and South America. Um, old world are from pretty much anywhere else. So that's gonna be Africa, Asia, um, where else, India as well. Um, so first one is my pumpkin patch. Um, she is a new world species. She's a confirmed female. So she's gonna live a long time. Um, I have my grandma Stola pulchra, also a female. Um, common name is the Brazilian black. Um, this is my scorpion, so not a tarantula, but she is a South African spitting scorpion. So if I got um, stung by her, I would definitely need to go to the hospital. Um, it's not a good time, so she's not one that I handle. Um, this over here is my wolf spider. Um, she's actually has an egg sac right now. This was a surprise, so I was not expecting her to have this. And then a couple weeks ago, I just appeared. So I should have 40 to 100 little wolf spider babies within the next couple weeks. How long have you been working with uh, her <laughs> She's Louise. Um, about three years or so. So I got my first tarantula was a Caribbean Versicolor. Um, which is a type of pink toe tarantula. Um, this one is my Balfouri though. So these guys um, are one of the only types of communal tarantulas. So this is not a communal setup. There's just one in here. Um, but if I eventually wanted to add some more, I could try doing that down the road. Cause they can live happily with others. Um, so yeah, I've been keeping tarantulas for about three years though. So this is a baby Caribbean Versicolor that I have. And then I have a jumping spider as well. This is one of my only old world species. So this is a electric blue. 
Um, they are, so it's a Kilobrachis species electric blue, so he'll get super bright blue and purple on his front legs. Wait, where is it? He's in here, he, he kind of ran in there, but you can just okay. see his cool webs. This is probably one of the favorite things, my favorite things that I own. He is a type of centipede. Um, he is a Malaysian jewel centipede. So I have four centipedes total. Um, centipedes are the, like, I don't hold my tarantulas because I don't want to one hurt them and I don't want to either get bit or get hairs thrown at. Um, but centipedes, they definitely would mess me up if I were to hold them. So they're not something that I'll ever hold. Um, we'll get a little shot of him in a second because I'm not going to stick my finger in there without a little tub. Um, but this is another one that I have, another tarantula. Um, this is a Gramostola Acteon. So it is a woolly black tarantula. So she'll kind of lose that bluish color. I don't know if it's a male or female. I'm just hoping it's a girl. She'll lose the blue color and then get more kind of um, black and then her abdomen will stay red as she gets bigger. Um, let's see, probably one of the coolest species that I own is my, one of my pokies. So this is a Mysore ornamental tarantula. Um, the scientific name is a Pasilotheria striata. Um, so she's also a confirmed female. So hopefully she'll live 15 years, fingers crossed. Um, but she is one of the like fastest species that I own and she definitely has probably the most potent venom out of most of these guys. So yeah, definitely would not want to get bit by her and would not want her escaping out of her home. I have my um, Venezuelan sun tiger in here, also a confirmed female. Um, she's again, not one that you'd wanna be bit by, um, although she's a new world species, so she's from South America. Um, they have very strong venom. Um, instead of having irritating hairs, like most new world species, they'll have the um, super strong venom and they're very fast too. Um, this one is a, another curly hair that I have that I actually got from Ethan. Um, this is my Nandu Clematis, the Brazilian red and white. She's also a confirmed female. She's about four years old now. She actually just molted, so her molt is right there. Um, next one is a Brachypalma smithy, or Mexican red knee. And then at the very bottom is my um, mature male Arizona blonde. So he unfortunately won't live too much longer after this, um, just because he's already had his final molt. Um, now he's either Shortly, but it's a natural um, life cycle for those guys. So not really what are uh, utricating hairs, real quick? So, utricating hairs are what New World tarantulas will flick off their legs and abdomen as a defense. So, they're like super tiny, like splinter like hairs. So, irritating to your um, eyes, nose, mouth, and Bird eater, some of those like the Theropuzzle Blondie or Stormy, they're gonna have really bad irritating hairs, so you don't want to get those on your skin. I second that. Third that is. Yep. <laughs> then there, yep. yep. Yeah. So this is the Malaysian Jewel Centipede. Um, he is quite a crazy little guy, so again, he does a lot of little spins and flips and stuff like that, but he's blue and orange. Um, he was about $175, so he's... <laughs> Okay, we're going. All right. Light, light. We tried. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> we tried. 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 We Wow, I can't believe that's the most venomous species of centipede in the world. That's crazy. One, one bite from that dude and you're <laughs> dead you forever. <laughs> Maisie, what do you have there? This is our cat, Wolfie. He's a munchkin cat, so he's got short little legs and a really long body. Yeah, those legs are really short, right? Look so what is like five inches, like five inch legs? Yeah, I don't Four know. Inches, they're they're tall. Tall. short. And then he likes to be held on his back a lot, like a baby, but he's an expensive cat and he's, he's a long-haired right? long munchkin cat. Like, you still have him stand up because your fingers. Yes, more. Mm -hmm. Oh, that cat's so cool. Oh, 
I love that cat. This is the best part. Yeah. It is. He can go kind of tall somewhere. That's what you can really see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. I voted it. You're like, this thing gets out. He's a good old boy. And how old is he? He will be one in October. So he's not even here yet. Alright, thank you guys for watching this video of Morgan's and Maisie's Reptile Collection. And I appreciate you guys watching all my videos. You guys have any. Anything else to say? Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Good night.